Hey guys, for today's quick video, we're going to talk about 10 most common breast lesions and how to differentiate them based on their clinical features. This is a painful fluctuating mass over the breast or near the nipple and is a nipple abscess or a pus collection around the breast. So the main treatment is antibiotic and sometimes drainage. If there is brown, green colored discharge from the nipple, it's mostly a case of ductectasia. If there's a history of trauma to the breast, redness or bruises around the lump, if there's a firm, round, solitary and localized lump, it's most likely fat necrosis. If there's bleeding per nipple in 20 to 40 years of age in a female along with skin changes, it's usually a ductal papilloma and the investigation of choice here is a galactogram. If there's bleeding discharge per nipple in an old woman with eczema-like changes in the nipple, or in the areola, along with ulcers, it's usually Pagod's disease and it's malignant. And we have to diagnose it using punch biopsy. If there's a firm non-tender mobile mass in a breast of a young woman around 15 to 30 years of age, also known as a breast mouse, it's usually a fibroadenoma. And the diagnosis is a combination of clinical, ultrasound and FNAC. If there's breast pain, mastalgia, increased breast size, lumpiness of the breast, in a female of reproductive age, they tend, which tends to appear just before or during menstrual cycle and disappears after it, it is fibroadenosis. This is different from fibroadenoma. If there's a fixed, irregular, hard, painless lump along with nipple retraction or if the lump is fixed to the skin with orange appearance or muscle is involved, local fixed firm axillary lymph nodes present, it's usually a breast cancer. And the diagnosis is core biopsy. If there's an offensive yellow discharge from an area near the nipple with a history of abscess near this area, that probably is a ductal fistula or a mam mammillary fistula. If there's prolonged redness around the areola with a history of using antibiotics, which may, use, uh, which may improve the symptoms slightly, and greenish fluid is aspirated from the breast, it's mostly a peridectal mast mastitis. So guys, that was the quick review on 10 most common lesions of the breast. If you guys like that video, please give this video a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my social media platforms where I share daily medical content. So that's about it. I hope all you wonderful people have an amazing day and I'll see you for my next video.